Hi Sagittarius, welcome back. Getting ready to do your April 2019 general love reading. Now I know that this isn't going to be for all my Sagittarius watching. This is really just for those energies that I'm picking up and those that need to hear it. I have no control over what comes out. I'm just going to read it to you guys as I see it and what I feel. Okay, so Sagittarius, I just have to tell you guys this is the second not third time I'm doing your reading and I do see you guys a little bit burdened wanting to say something to someone in your past but you're not very interested in them anymore and you're still kind of like talking to someone else in your past that may have like disappointed you in some sort of way you want to carry things forward but it got stuck however that applies to you I don't know but it's just it, it felt stuck it's kind of what I'm seeing could have been a Cancer, a Pisces, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. I will go ahead and clarify that. But let's see what's moving you guys forward to the end of April. And look at your past, your present, and what's coming towards you guys in the near future. But I cannot escape it. You see this? High Priestess and the Six of Cups is telling me you're still thinking about the past. So those of you... You could be hurt from the past. You could be, you know, feeling like there's a little bit of a guilty pleasure with the past. Um, it could be a Taurus or someone you were married to. Someone you were in a long-term ter commitment with. We'll go ahead and see. But I'm saying this is someone you were possibly engaged, married, with for some time. Or it was starting to feel that way. Okay. But in your present moment, I don't see you guys really, like, interested, wanting to take anything serious right now. Because if you were um, dealing with some sort of a loss in the past, I mean, who would be ready for that right now, right? You're kind of in the hermit mode, or you're just really thinking things over, and you're trying to figure out this person is even worth dealing with, maybe because they have somebody else. I don't know why I'm picking that up. Sagittarius, my archers, I cannot help it, but this is maybe for a very specific archer watching. Let's see what's coming towards you guys in the near future for those that find themselves in this situation. Something to do with the Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Okay. I am okay. In the past, I'm seeing Justice, Eight of Pentacles, Two of Wands. Two Ps and a Pi is how I feel with this. You guys work. You guys fit. They like your schedule. It was night and day. Something was very irregular about you guys, but you guys seem to fit. Um... Both of you guys are very dedicated and motivated towards money. Very ambitious, very hardworking people. Don't like freebies, don't like handouts. This is kind of what I'm seeing. Both of you guys love spending time together. This is the person that I'm reading for. Whoever it is you think about at this time, there was a sense of belonging. There was a sense of I get you like nobody else does. And that's how this person felt about you. Okay, but for some reason, going in the present moment, there would have been some kind of fallout. I don't get you anymore. Why did you have to change? Why do you have to keep doing something I don't like? Um, with the Hermit, with the Three of Swords, someone's really thinking whether or not they can go back to whatever it was. They still want to cooperate with you. They still want to communicate with you where you would, you're still thinking that way towards this person, the person that hurts you. Energies can go reverse, so this could be how you're feeling towards them or how they're feeling towards you. These are just what's coming out at me, you guys. I do see that, um, you know, there's a little bit of contemplation here. Like, I feel stuck. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to change? How much of this do you want me to do? We've already gone through this before. Can we work this out? That's kind of what I'm getting. So let's take our time. Let's not jump into things. Let's figure things out slowly and take things as it is right now. Let's not say we are or we are not something. 
It's kind of the present energies that I'm getting. But this is something you want to return to. This is a commitment you truly want for the month of April. Present moment for those archers that I'm picking up. This is definitely a commitment worth keeping. Solid, strong foundation that you guys have. But yes, it's there's going to be a little bit of uphill struggle coming to you regarding this person. Just look out for that. The end, the trouble is not over yet. But what they secretly want is the same thing you guys want. So just be on the lookout for that. They may be telling you they don't want it anymore. They don't want to do it. Ten of Pentacles. They want the same thing. Why I think that? It's because the moon. They're being a little bit deceptive. Or there's deception energy. It's like saying like, I'm just on guard. I'm going to pretend like I don't care. I'm going to act like I'm going to throw this away. I'm going to act like I don't give a crap about you. But deep down, okay, come on. These cards, don't lie. They want stability. They want things to move forward. But they're pissed. There's conflicts. The moon again. They're not going to let you know that they care. Because you guys are trying to reevaluate the situation. And coming in the near future, they will want to too. Right, Bella? This is Bella. She wanted to be in your reading today. This is Mama Bear. Hopefully the baby's still sleeping. Okay, um, but that's kind of what I'm getting. Could be dealing with a Virgo, a Cancer, a Pisces, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I do see someone here is a little bit heartbroken with third party issues. Someone recently found out someone is seeing someone from their past or dating someone else. Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or Sagittarius. It could be you guys. This is why the relationship's not moving forward right now, but this person's in it. So coming towards you guys, this person still wants to come back. This person still wants to work things out with you. They just feel like you haven't learned their lesson or you feel like they haven't learned their lesson. This is coming out strong this reading for some reason. They're not revealing much to you, but something's going to change. Words will be exchanged. Um, truth will be spoken. And truth is coming out. So there's no hiding it with the moon card. You guys need to work on your partnership and stop pretending like you guys both don't care about each other. Because you guys both do. It is safe for you to love. Sagittarius, work on your partnership. I do feel a sense of jealousy in this reading. <sighs> Clash of Egos. Something about a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a Libra being in there. But Sagittarius, you came out in your own reading, and it came out with cooperation. So I'm saying you might give this person a chance or might actually deal with it if you were not the one in the wrong. If they were the one in the wrong, you might actually work with this person or it's really telling them to hide their egos because you are willing to give them a chance if they fix things with you. Um, I do see that you guys will be taking a break sometime in April, going out, having fun, maybe taking a trip together, enjoying some kind of holiday time because you guys are meant to be. This is the romance of a lifetime. There's some kind of reconciliation that's going to be happening in the month of April for a lot of my Sagittarian watchers. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this reading helped, and I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.